According to a report on the Russian government's official website on November 1st, the prototype of the long-range wide-body passenger aircraft IL-96400M has successfully completed its maiden flight. The plane is manufactured by Voronezh Aircraft Manufacturing Company, a subsidiary of the United Aircraft Corporation, or UAC, of Russia. Let's look at the details of this milestone for today's video. During the Quadjet's maiden flight, UAC checked the stability and controllability of the aircraft's various systems. The Russian Federal Air Transport Agency, or Rosaviatsia, has verified that most systems and equipment were produced by the Rostec State Corporation. The captain who piloted the maiden flight was Sergei Sukar, the chief pilot of Ilyushin Design Bureau and an honored test pilot of the Russian Federation. The first flight reached an altitude of 2,000 meters with a speed of up to 390 kilometers per hour, lasting for 26 minutes. Deputy Prime Minister of the Russian Federation Denis Mantorov commented on the achievement, saying, The first and successful flight of the modernized IL-96400M demonstrates the highest level of competence of domestic aircraft manufacturers. The aircraft not only retained the high performance of the IL-96300, but also received new operational and transportation capabilities. For a little background, the IL-96 project in Russia was initiated in the 1980s, and the first model, the IL-96300, entered commercial service in 1993. Even today, Russian President Putin's official aircraft continues to be the IL-96300 aircraft. Due to the challenging commercial performance of the IL-96300, Russia later developed the IL-96M model, which incorporated a significant amount of aviation equipment produced by Western countries. However, after the forced discontinuation of the IL-96 model, Russia continued to develop the IL-96400, which was equipped with domestically produced electronic equipment and engines. After the 2014 Ukraine crisis, Russia began to seek cooperation with China to develop a wide-body aircraft that would meet market demands jointly. In 2017, a joint venture company called Krayik was established. However, internally, Russia continued its development of the IL-96400 model. In March 2022, just one month after the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the country faced international sanctions. Sergei Jemezov, the CEO of Rostec, announced a large-scale restart of IL-96 production, and in 2023, Russia officially withdrew from the Large Aircraft Corporation plan with China. As early as 2021, insiders in the Russian defense industry reported that Russia had been developing an aircraft based on the IL-96400M wide-body plane to serve as an airborne command post in the event of nuclear warfare. The Russian military was set to receive two of these airborne command aircraft. What do you think of Russia's development of its own wide-body aircraft? And what do you think of the fact that it has four engines? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.